Willkommen zurück zu The Walking Dead Michonne. Heute fangen wir die Episode 3 an. Vorerst die letzte Episode, bevor da vielleicht irgendwann äh, mal wieder etwas weiteres kommt von dieser Spielereihe. Ähm, wie ist unser Stand? Ja, das war das letzte Mal schon etwas tragisch. Da ähm, haben wir dann äh, auch den Vater von Sam verloren. Wir sind aktuell ähm, dabei ein, einen Deal einzugehen mit Norma, der Schwester von Randall. Ähm, diesen haben wir aktuell festgehalten und in eine Schraubzwinge eingespannt, buchstäblich. Und das ist schon etwas bedrückend, also wir... Ich weiß noch nicht ganz genau, wie man denn jetzt aus dieser Situation wirklich rauskommen soll, denn äh, ja, ich sag mal so, die Leute von Monroe, die werden uns da jetzt nicht sehr wohlgesonnen sein. Und unsere Chancen, dass, dass das alle Überleben von uns sind, naja. Ich schätze sie nicht mal 50-50 ein. Also, wir werden sehen, was uns jetzt in dieser Episode alles weiteres erfahren wird. Und ja, wir gehen einfach mal rein in die Episode 3. Let's go, wir starten das mal. should be the one laying there, not your brother. I'm not leaving you behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. They, they had some supplies just sitting out and... Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Michonne, what is it? Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. Water's gonna be an ice bath. No one wants to see that, Oak. Yeah, I know. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. Go on. <coughs> God damn, Oak. You can't call it coffee when more than half's whiskey. Uh, you sound like my ex-wife. She was more of a rum girl. 
klingt alles lecker. Hey City, did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no, Berto, no. It was a mutiny. <lacht> Berto, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <lacht> Damn. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mole they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit is now. They're growing on me too. Kinda nice that people can still joke around. It's a fine line between the court jester and the village idiot. You can guess which side I think he's on. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. I don't always get Pete, but I'm glad people like him still exist. I'll drink to that. Well, I think Berto's little routine is winding down so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Besides, none of us can remember the rules. Yeah. Do me in. Sounds like a challenge. You might regret it when I win that machete of yours. Na, ja, da kann man schon nett sein. Das ist immerhin unsere Crew. there, Michonne. Sam, I knew you couldn't stay away. Don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> Sam, stop! Easy, all right? Jesus! What do I help you? Please, I need a hand! Hey, let go of me! Thank you. Why did you stop me? What are you... Why are you protecting him? You, you know what he did. You should be better than that, Sam. Don't be like him. Or like you? Just stating the obvious here. <coughs> What's funny here is you think me and my sister are the bad ones. But you're the one who burned down our home. Forced our people on the shore to be easy pickings for the walkers. Families. Kids. Never did shit to you. Didn't stop to think about all the lives you were screwing up. All the shit they had to leave behind. Ignore him, Michonne. Probably burned beyond recognition now. You better keep your mouth shut. I'm not, uh, upsetting you, am I? You're the murderer, not her. You're done talking. You're the one who should be dead. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I... I didn't mean he ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. You don't know. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. Mm. 
Michonne? You don't want to keep me waiting. You trying to piss her off? I'm right here. Good. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has <clears throat> changed. Michonne and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Gut, dass wir ihn leben gelassen haben. I'll see how badly you hurt him. Look, you don't owe me anything, but please, we have to get them back. That goes both ways. Anything you do to my friends, I'll do to Randall. You better not touch him! We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us. Shit. Okay, leg. Oh, okay, geht weiter. <laughs> so, what do you think's gonna happen next? <laughs> Den haben wir ja ganz schön zugerichtet. <lacht> What? There's something on my face. The bruises aren't so bad. Right? Erst im Leben, das ist das Wichtige. I'm pretty sure she'll notice the fingers. Shut up! Maybe it won't matter. This has to work. It could be worse, you know. At least he's not dead. We'll get our friends back. Alive. That's if Norma keeps her word. The minute you hand him over, she's gonna take that bag off his head. What then? <laughs> <laughs> you all have no idea what you're in for. Ugh. He's right. Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Sure, you kept him alive, but we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. Hiding isn't an option. So let's just go. It's not gonna be that easy, Paige. If we run, they'll chase us. But maybe we get away. If we stay here, there's no chance we get out of this alive. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, where are you going? I'll watch him. Sam! <sighs> Sam, where are you taking him? <gasps> Hilf ihr doch einfach. Das ist das Beste, was du tun kannst. 
<clears throat> Maybe you're all ready to walk away, but I'm not just gonna leave him like this. <laughs> Hier tut sie das Richtige. Hilf ihr. Er should be buried with your mom. But we can't focus on that right now. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Sam, you can't still be thinking My mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I'm not just going to abandon it. I know you don't want to, but leaving might be your only option. It isn't safe here anymore. I know, but I, I can't just give up. We can fight. We can defend this house. No, wir? Nein. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. I know it's stupid, but I have to finish this. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. Definitiv das einzig Richtige, dass Sam ihren Vater begraben kann. Also ich glaube, das würde jeder verstehen. Und die äh, ja, Flashbacks von mir schon, die werden aktuell nicht besser. Ähm, schauen wir mal, wie es weitergeht. Sprechen wir mal mit James. I was, I was just wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. Just. Er muss erwachsen werden. And how does it feel? It's, it's heavy. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. Sure, go ahead. Those slide in there. Round side forward. How did they just die like that Greg and Dad Ja, wir machen jetzt hier um, die erste Folge. Ähm ja. Das ist alles jetzt aktuell noch Vorbereitung für den wohl äh, einen großen Showdown. Ähm natürlich ist es richtig, dass Sam ihren äh, Vater begraben kann. Das ist ähm, die einzig richtige Entscheidung und auch, dass wir dabei helfen, ist das einzig Richtige. Und auch jetzt äh, mit James, dass wir ihn jetzt nicht wie ein kleines Kind behandeln. Das, ich glaube, das ist in einer solchen Welt auch 
nicht mehr möglich, denn die müssen dann wirklich relativ zeitig lernen, mit all dem umzugehen. Und dazu gehören auch Waffen. Und dass man die Kinder eben in der Hinsicht dann ernst nimmt. Und ähm, ich denke auch, ähm, so ein kleiner Bub wie der James, der kann uns dann hilfreich sein. Ja, gut. Wir machen dann jetzt erstmal hier Schluss für die erste Folge der Episode 3. Und wir sehen uns dann in Folge 2 dieser Episode. Ciao.